Hi guys and welcome back. It's Essen Motor Show 2023 and I want to talk about the M2. A lot of people weren't sure about the G87 M2 when it came out, but I was always convinced that it would be a great base for modifications and I haven't been disappointed. What I have next to me is probably the best M2 build I've seen so far. And this is from GP Products in the Netherlands. It's essentially the full Alpha N kit in the GT style. This car has been fully inspired by the E36 M3 GT, which was finished in British Racing Green. And it has a lot of the design touches from that car transferred onto this one. So let's go into a bit more detail. Starting at the front of the car, we have the GT style splitter with an adjustable bit at the bottom, which the E36 had. It also has a carbon fiber center grill here, which is different to the stock one. Instead of multiple slats, it just has one in the middle here. As we'd expect from Alpha N, the carbon is actually very good quality. We have the Alpha N kit on our F87 M2. And in 2016, we had a full Alpha N car at Essen and it's getting the same amount of attention as this is. We've been here for a day now and people are absolutely loving this car. The bonnet is also vented at the front, much more aggressive than the stock one and they've left it partially painted and exposed so you can see the carbon through it. Working around the side of the car, we have these very aggressive vented wings in carbon fiber. It also has a slat on the side here, which has been left exposed. I think this is just the amount of right of color and carbon exposure for this car. The wheels are also very special. These are HRE wheels, which have been designed in the same way as an E36 Sunflower wheel. So it's really taken the design cues from the E36 and transferring it onto this car and finished in a really nice bronze color. Coming around to the back of the car, for you guys that know the E36 M3 GT, if you don't, please go and Google it. That rear spoiler is basically the same design as that, but made to work on the G87 M2. And I think it provides a lot of aggression on the back of this car. It's very chunky at the back here. So you have to try and do modifications that accentuate its rear end. It also has the Alpha N rear diffuser, so the upper part here and then the lower part here, which is quite aggressive and finished off with some Akropovic tailpipes at the back, which are also finished in the same bronze color as the wheels and also the M2 GT badge at the front. So this car is full of small little details and the interior is also super impressive. So let's take a look inside there. As well as having a full color change, this car is not wrapped in BRG, it's fully painted, so the whole car was stripped. And while they did that, they also fully redid the interior. There's lots of Alcantara, green leather, and it's also done in a similar fashion as the E36 M3 GT. I really love the steering wheel here with the green accents, green leather, and it also has the made magnetic paddle shifters, a display from Canchecked. They've really taken the details of this car and just enhanced it. So it's got the M2 GT embedded into here and it also has it in the badges at the back here, which still illuminate. So overall, they've really taken the aspects of the M3 GT and transferred it to a modern car. And I think it works really well. So it's not just the aesthetics they've taken care of on this car. They've also considered the performance. And if I open the hood, you can see the inventory intakes CSF charge cooler manifold. What you can't see is the Lada manufacturer LM900 turbos. So this car actually has 800 horsepower as well as looking really awesome. What I haven't also mentioned is that the car is sitting on MSS hybrid. So the handling is also taken care of. The eye for detail continues under the engine bay, including the CSL brace, which is also painted in BRG, the Downstar titanium dress up kit, the black line covers for the oil and coolant tanks, and also the even chewy engine cover. Underneath, you can also see the Kevlar coming through on the Alpha N bonnet with the nice Alpha N detailing under here. I think this is the most modified G87 M2 in the world. The build cost was 130,000 euros on top of the car. So this is gone over 200,000 euros now, and it is absolutely my favorite build so far. 
This is not the only M2 here with Alpha N parts. Alpha N have their own demo car here, which is an M3 LTW inspired car. And it has exactly the same body kit as this car. And they also have a variant on their kit, which is the CSL style one, which is also here. And that interestingly enough is what we're going to be doing to our car. So this isn't the first time I've seen a fully Alpha N kitted G87 M2. IND also have one. So let's jump over to America and check their one out. I'm gonna do a walk around of IND's stunning G87 M2, which is just making its debut at Impact. It has a whole host of aftermarket parts on it and it looks absolutely stunning. I'll start at the front end. So over here we have the Alpha N grills, Alpha N front splitter, upper and lower, and BMW M Performance inlets. You can also see the yellow Motorsport Plus lights. Coming into the engine bay, we have the Eventuri intake finished in matte and the engine cover and a full line strut brace. Moving over to the side of the car, you can see the BBS E89s. These are a Japan only exclusive, no spaces, so the fitment is perfect. You've got the Alpha N wings with the GT3 RS style vents and the flipper here. You can see the bonnet as well, that's Alpha N, so it's almost like a GTS style, but the vent is a lot bigger. This is full carbon, but they've painted the whole car and just left this bit exposed. One of the main party tricks of this car are the CSL seats. So this is probably the first G87 M2 that's had the CSL seats fitted inside. It looks absolutely amazing. I sat in them earlier and these seats are great. They're comfortable and supportive at the same time. And you've got the roll cage in the back color matched to the car. Moving around the back of the car, you can see the Alpha N E36 M3 GT style spoiler which is the upper part and this lower again that's full carbon but they've body matched the lower part and on the rear we have Iserman exhaust with a carbon fiber tailpipe and the alpha n upper diffuser and the lower tray the car is sitting on kw v3 club sport suspension and this is a manual m2 also for your driving purists you'll be happy about that the car looks stunning. It's got a lot of parts on it, but it's very cohesive. And I'm looking forward to driving this at some point, not on this trip, but next time I come back to USA, if Keith, the owner of the car, will let me drive it, I'll have a go in it. When the G87 M2 came out, lots of people were unsure of the looks. I always thought it would be a great base for modifying and Alpha N have really taken this car and enhanced it to a level where this is how it should have looked from the factory or at least the special versions should have looked. So we've covered both kits, the GT style and also the CSL style, which I did mention we have going on our car. But now looking at both of them, I'm a little bit unsure. Which one would you guys pick? Would you go to the GT style one? Or would you go for the CSL one? Let us know in the comments.